FR Sky D8 receiver on both of these as well. So up at the very front, there's a little tiny gold button right here. That is the bind button. It has altitude hold in normal mode. After taking off, it hovers in the air. This is so beginner friendly. The overall airframe of this is made out of plastic and it's not a fragile plastic. It is actually pretty durable. I did crash it quite a few times here in the shop and it's absolutely fine. It works really, really well. So This drone is tiny and light. The frame covers all of the important components. Made of PA12 material which has excellent impact resistance. Not only protecting the drone from impact but also protect the thing you hit. Also, it disarms itself when, uh, when you crash. So when you bump into something, it will just disarm itself so you don't um, spin your propellers into places and you don't break them. That's a pretty cool feature for a beginner drone. I feel that that will come in handy for a lot of people. Also, it did come in handy for me as well. Go. There it is. So the optical flow is working. As it gets to the table, it's going up. I'm not touching anything. Oop, too high. <laughs> Bring it down. There we go. And you see what I mean? Is I can let go of the joysticks and not do anything because it's just using optical flow. It's like a camera drone, but for the FPV hobby. So I can move it forward. Let's just, I'm just using one joystick here. Let's just bring it over the table so it's down by the window. As long as you see a blue light underneath, that means your battery is good. See? So easy to fly. And to land it, you have a choice. You can land it on the ground or hit the arm switch. And I hit the arm switch, which is this one down here. Motors turn off, just put your hand out to catch it. We're in sport mode. We can see that from the lower right. It says S mode. That means sport mode, and it is in the slow mode. So this is less restrictive. I've got a hair on my lens in the top right as it moves around a little bit. As you can see there, now we're in mid-speed. We're going to be able to pick up our pace a little bit as we cruise around the house. And we're going to take off. Yeah, fast mode now. You can see our battery's getting a bit low. It's the same battery that I've been showing you so far uh, in this mode. And uh, our voltage gets down there a little bit. And we're going to go to the point where it disarms. See how we get low voltage on the screen? Now we're going outdoors for some fun. I feel like... If they made a 2S version of this, this would be extremely fast on 2S because right here I'm on 1S. This is one of the fastest 1S quads I think I've ever had my hands on. And it actually does pretty good. The video transmitter seems to go around the neighborhood quite well and doesn't have a ton of breakup even though I'm running the lowest VTX power. Video transmitter power on this quad right now is set to 25 milliwatt with trees in between cars, objects, you know, other things in the neighborhood that you fly by little fences like this. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Oh, oh that's oh that's really fun. Whoa. 